That the procurement process of three additional Scorpion class diesel electric submarines is set to begin shortly, and officials have said that the final contract will be concluded by end of 2024, and first submarine will likely be delivered in 2031. Naval Group Chairman has said that the indigenous content on three additional submarines would be higher, as several efforts were in place in areas of the RDO developed AIP system combat system and various other systems. Ordnance Factory Bad Mal has flagged off the first export order of 155mm ammunition to a friendly foreign country. While the specific details of the export order's destination have not been officially disclosed, it is speculated that the order might have come from Armenia. It is to be noted, that Armenia had placed an order for 155mm at AGS worth $155.5 million in 2022, that will be delivered to Armenian army from 2025 onwards. The Simulator Development Division under Army Training Command has successfully developed a VR-based IGLA missile firing simulator, which is a portable system that will play a crucial role to support both individual and team training exercises in various training environments. One of the key features is its realistic missile simulation, which accurately replicates missile trajectory and effects that will equip the soldiers with critical knowledge and skills needed for real-world operations. India has extended the service of its state-owned shipyards such as Hindustan Shipyard Limited to Vietnam, to assist in extensive repairs upgrades and system integration as well as trials of the Kilo-class submarine, which is operational with the Vietnamese Navy. Vietnam currently operates six Kilo-class submarines, and India has taken a proactive approach to enhance Vietnam's naval capabilities. Goa Shipyard Limited and Bits Goa have signed a memorandum of understanding towards fostering joint development and implementation of artificial intelligence technologies in the field of shipbuilding and defense applications. The use of artificial intelligence in shipbuilding will help in scheduling resources assigning tasks deciding on dates and lead times, changing the duration and providing budgets. Hindustan Aeronautics has received a letter of intent from the services for the manufacture of 12 light utility helicopters. However, the Army has put forth one crucial condition before finalizing the order, which is the incorporation of the autopilot system. HAL is now gearing up to test the autopilot system on its light utility helicopter, and its completion will result in successful induction. Chinese Navy's Yuan Wang-6 missile and satellite tracking vessel has once again set its course to enter the Indian Ocean region by the Sunda Strait in Indonesia. The vessel's arrival in the region is being closely tracked by the Indian Navy, as the presence of such spy vessels in the Indian Ocean raises questions about the underlying intentions and activities of the Chinese Navy in the region. Bengaluru-based Pixel has won a multi-crore grant from IDEX under the Ministry of Defense, to manufacture miniaturized multi-payload satellites for the Indian Air Force. Pixel will now develop small satellites of up to 150 kg for electro-optical infrared synthetic aperture radar and hyperspectral purposes. <laughs> Oh, my God.